Best Mac Studio for Photographers As you know, last week, Apple introduced the Mac Studio, a new computing device studio lineup that greater much less splits the distinction between the company's present Mac Mini and Mac Pro desktops. Even if Apple doesn't predict the future of the Mac Pro lineup as it transitions to its proprietary silicon, the Mac Studio appears, at least on paper, to be prepared to meet the needs of all types of creators. But what Mac Studio constructs will be great for your needs. And do you even want a Mac Studio at all? And what is this Mac Studio for photographers? While photographers and videographers, no doubt, fall under the umbrella of experts Apple is concentrated on with its Mac Studio, what photographers and videographers require in a PC can differ pretty a bit. While photographers' desires have a tendency to top out with modifying giant raw documents or substantial composites, videographers should probably want a procedure pro res raw or even 8K video. And, of course, there are those who dabble in each still and video. As with any type of review related to a product, there are definitely aspect instances that may not match the incredible primary factors I've hit on in this video. But odds are all their software programs for Apple's own chipsets to take advantage of hardware acceleration. The one region place Apple's present day Mac Mini choices fall short, however, is RAM. The modern line of Moan Mac Mini elements Apple's M1 chipset, which can solely be configured with up to 16 GB of RAM. What I bought with my Mac Mini, that's extra than adequate for many picture use cases as I've in no way determined myself maxing it out in my time with the M1. However, if you're processing giant raw documents or modifying composites in Photoshop, extra RAM may be extraordinarily required for preserving matters strolling smoothly. So, this is the real fact that you can't change the RAM yourself means you're caught with what you purchase when you buy your computer. It's probably we'll see a new Mac Mini with Apple's next generation chipset at some point, which will most likely assist with greater RAM. At this point, if you wish to have more than 16 GB of RAM, you will either have to wait for the next Mac Mini generation or purchase the Mac Studio, which starts out with 32 GB of RAM for the $1,999 configuration with the Mon Max 10-core CPU, 24-core GPU, 16-core neural engine. There's additionally somehow the difficulty of ports. The M1 Mac Mini is restricted to simply two Thunderbolt 3 ports and whilst each assists the most 40 GPS bandwidth and works exceptionally by using daisy chaining a number of USB-C and Thunderbolt peripherals it would be high quality to have. At the very least, two greater USB-C ports. It's well worth noting the M1 isn't successful in helping extra than two Thunderbolt 3 ports, so it truly is why Apple saved it to a pair. And if we talk about out of the box, the Mac Studio comes with four Thunderbolt 4 ports, all of which help up to 40 GBS bandwidth and two USB ports, USB 3.1 Gen 2, up to 10 GB slash S. With that capacity, you are getting double the range of Thunderbolt 4 ports and double the bandwidth out of the box. The Ethernet connection on the Mac Studio is additionally 10 GB out of the box. Whilst it is a $100 improvement on the M1 Mac Mini, you'll additionally get a built-in US Roman 2 SD card slot reader on the front, with two USB-C ports on the Mon Max Mac Studio. If any of these caveats are deal-breakers for you or your workflow, then it is in all likelihood really worth it to make the leap to the M1 Max Mac Studio. In that case, the high price base system ought to be a big improvement over even the most effective M1 Mac Mini, as the CPU, and GPU in the Mon Max are 70% and 4 instances faster, respectively, than these enter the M1. And, yes, if you would like to similarly enlarge its capabilities, you can upgrade the base Mac Studio to the 32-core GPU M1 Max alternative, $200, and top up your Mac to 64 GB, $400, which would convey the whole to $2,599. 
If you're working solely with, still this setup has to be greater than adequate for nearly any variety of work you can throw its way for years to come, and is eventually the first class bang for your buck when it comes to the Mac Studio lineup. For sure, you want to improve in addition to the Mon Ultra and bump it up to 128 GB of RAM. However, again, if you're solely the use of it for stills, that's likely a bit overkill for your needs. Now, if you're a person who shoots high volume slash high resolution stills and 4K 8K video for your work, you'll likely favor ignoring the M1 Mac Mini altogether and moving straight to the Mac Studio. That shows your entry level choice is the $1,999 Mac Studio with an M1 Max. This device comes with a 10 core CPU, 24 core GPU. 16-core Neural Engine M1 Max chipset with 32 GB of RAM and 512 GB of SSD storage, as well as four Thunderbolt 4 ports, two USB ports, one HDMI port, one 10 GB Ethernet port, and one 3.5 mm headphone jack. Other improvements consist of the bounce to a 32-core GPU model of the M1 Max, up to 64 GB of RAM, and up to 8 TB of interior SSD storage. Even though that improvement alone will value you extra than the laptop itself, $2,400. This setup, and any variants within, will be capable to manage certainly any photograph workflow you throw its way and is extra than sufficient for most any 4K Pro Res Pro Res raw video workflow. So, if you are thinking about Apple having built-in Pro Res decoding and encoding into its M1 chipsets, 8K enhancing needs to additionally be feasible with this setup. However, if you desire to future-proof your 8K workflow, you will possibly prefer to improve to the 32-core GPU M1 Max chipset and max out the RAM to 64 GB, which would convey your charge to $2,599. While no one is stopping you from upgrading to the M Ultra Max Studio, the more $2,000 it will cost you probably won't make feel for hybrid shooters, except you shoot a good deal greater video than stills, in which case you extra than probable fall into the subsequent category. So, according to my experience, I'm totally in love. Here I'm wrapping up. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like, share, and comment on this video. We'll be back with another exciting video.